And we're back with another episode of Nifashu Sings the same song that he sang in episode 3, I think, maybe it was 4. Anyway, we're back with another episode of Nifashu's Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Challenge. Ah, yeah. So, we have a little bit of a problem. And don't get me wrong, it's a pretty good problem. But the problem we currently have with our team is that it's almost at the level limit that I've imposed upon myself of 41. Level 41 is the highest level Pokemon of the next gym leader. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a lot of guys at, well, we've got two guys at 40, but we're getting dangerously close. Uh, but the good news is, we are not too far away from getting to the next place. Now, I also realise that I missed a house down here this whole time. The way you look, you're obviously a trainer. Can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you like? Oh, that's gotta be grass. I'm not even rolling with dice for that one. You choose the grass type? No wonder you look so calm. Even though you've... I've seen some things, man. I think you need to watch out. You don't get burned by fire. Well, that's disappointing. I expected you to hand me a free item. That, that is the custom around here. If everyone around the world had Pokemon, then everyone around the world could communicate. Okay, I, I'm not sure how that makes sense. I got my Pikachu for a trade from someone somewhere in the world. It grows quickly, so its level goes up quickly too. But it doesn't always listen to me. That's because I only have one gym badge. We don't always have an easy time, but it's still my irreplaceable partner. This guy's a douchebag. Alright, I'm hoping that there's some old item here. This may have nothing here at all. Why this house is here, I'm not sure. We come from f we come from far away land. I come see the Pokemon I treat. I worry if it is growing properly. I like look at poke I like look at Pokemon I get from friend in trade. It make me remember my friend. Yeah, okay. The grammar is an interesting concept in this particular house. When you connect with people on Nintendo, woofk, it's hard to tell if the world's big or small. Hello? You can trade Pokemon of people around the world on Nintendo, woofk. Well, you used to be able to anyway. Just hearing that gets my heart racing, and now it has been crushed. I'm pretty sure Nintendo cut off all of their games before a certain point, which is pretty sad, because I've, I saw this guide Someone posted on the Pokemon Reddit a guide to getting every ribbon in the game. Uh, oh, I need repels, I've just remembered. Uh, and yeah, you can't get them all actually anymore because you need online facilities. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Right, let's get some more super repels because we didn't have enough of those. Oh man, we're rich. What's going on? I'm just casually carrying around 100,000 Pog dollars. Which I've also heard is not the official name, but that, that's what I'm going to call it. Right, so, we have Portugal up in front, and we are good to go. We've got Surf, so, we'll head back here. Remember this route? We caught Greece here, what seems like eons ago. Uh, so we're going to see, there are a few trainers on this route, and we're going to see what's going on. So, we cannot capture a thing on this route, because we have Greece, which may or may not be a good thing. Uh, ooh, fishermen. Uh, well, fishermen, maybe fire horses aren't the best thing to do with fishermen. So we're going to instead use Ethiopia. Because Gyarados keep popping up lately, and I don't really like that situation. And a hyper potion. Oh, that reminds me, I need some more nutritious milk. Outdoor fishing for the win! Shouting doesn't help my fishing any. In fact, it kind of is a detriment. But shout I must, because I don't know. This guy is completely breaking the rules of fishing. Miguel. Aha! I swear I didn't know this guy actually had a Gyarados. Oh, why? I need electric moves. Um, But we have Confuse Ray, which works as well. And this guy has two Gyarados, so I'll not be in the best of moods. But I have faith, Ethiopia. You've done this before. Ice Fan. Give you the cold treatment. Okay. Uh, well, you attacked first somehow, Ethiopia, so faint attack, I guess. Prepare to do absolutely minimal damage. Yeesh. Oh, and it snapped out immediately. That's. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. 
Oh yeah, Ethiopia. Taking that hit like a bosh. Spelled B-O-W-S-H-H. -H. I sense a recurring theme of all these Garrow's fights, guys. Aha. You have wounded yourself. Well, we may as well stay in at this point. And suddenly it's faster. How? Dragon Rage? Oh no. Ironically, not terribly powerful. I still did the most damage so far. Right, Ethiopia, we may have to heal you here. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We only have five milk. That's no good. I need to replenish after this battle. Alright, Ethiopia. What could this thing possibly do? Hopefully injure itself, and it does exactly that. And now, it's the prime opportunity to quick duck. Boom. Alright, that thing's out of here. Good job, Ethiopia. I feel like Ethiopia has a grudge against all these Gyarados. You'd think that Ethiopia would wear the Intimidates off by this point, but never mind. Um, I think I'm going to use Myanmar. Because I'm not feeling the insane attack dropping that's going on right here. Oh no! That's fine. We got this. We got this. Um, Grass Knot? I don't know how where Gyarados is firing it from. His neck? Makes sense to me. Oh, that wasn't great. Um, well, this seems like we should revert completely back to our previous strategy of using Ethiopia, and that is what we'll do. Alright, Ethiopia. Round two. Fight. Oh, man. Gyarados doing, doing a twist. Man, I haven't played Twister in a while, and there's probably a good reason for that. I don't know what a level 33 Gyarados is still doing with Leer. I'm surprised these guys don't know Thrash, although I should be thankful. That may not be the case for too much longer. More of the Leer Dragon Rage attack. There's obviously something I'm missing here. Boop. Alright, Ethiopia, cleaning up house. Nice. You're also level 40. So I also need to be careful about you. Take that, Michael. Qua, this is hurting, both psychologically and physically. Oh, right. My shouting is scaring away the Pokemon. Yeah, this guy kept his caught on. He's caught on. He knows his stuff now. So I'm going to get some nutritious milk. And then I'll be right back. We're back. Alright, there appears to be another Fisher guy. Um, so, this time, we'll use Brunei. And I'm not saying that just because that rhymed. Hey! Yeah, yeah, nothing's biting, as is usual. Let's see if we can cheer this guy up by completely obliterating him. Luck or Luke? Remoraid! At level 29, this is fine. More rhymes. And Brunei is level 39. What else rhymes with 9 and line? Oh, fishing line. Okay, that, that's something. And it's gone. Alright, so hopefully this is a procession. We will see what is out next. Oh yeah, that's fine. So something I've been meaning to bring up for a while, but I keep, like, interrupting myself. Which I always seem to do. And I always get really engaged in each individual battle, so... I, ne I never feel as though there's enough time to say all the things that happen in my life. But recently, I've been dabbling well first of all let, let's take you guys back a few years ago before gen 6 even existed i came up with a fake dex uh, it had around 150 pokemon in it but so for reference this is before mega evolution and the fairy type was even a thing so very very sort of beta dex i came up with and i came up with some things that ended up coming to fruition I came up with a fighting panda, I came up with a grass ghost pumpkin, which admittedly isn't the most complicated thing to have come up with, but that's quite cool. But anyway, that list was lost to the ether. However, ooh, a Gyarados. Okay, Bruno, I think you got this. Oh, I ain't gonna do nothing, bro. So anyway, I am bringing my fake decks back, and I'm basing it around a region of South America. 
So I've made a grass type. These are the starters: a grass type llama, a fire type anaconda. I think we can do this. Yeah, that's fine. We got this. A fire type anaconda and a water type capybara. I think that's how you say it. Because those are all South American-y type animals. So, I would like to know from you guys. If you were to create some Pokemon, what would it be? What sort of type would it be? Would it be an object or an animal? I would like to know, and it's completely not because I'm going to steal your idea. <laughs> but it'd be quite cool to know what's going on. I thought of another cool idea of a grandfather clock. Uh, it starts off as an hourglass Pokemon, and then it evolves. It evolves! Um... Yeah, so I guess that's all I had to say about that. But that's quite cool. I wonder if, in fact, has anyone, have any of you guys ever come up with some sort of fake decks? Um, yeah, everyone's really, like, close to being level 41. I don't actually know who I want to fight here. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, why? Why did I do that? A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. I don't know that that's true. I think you're making that up, sir. Skylar with a Mantike. Oh, so cute. It's a pretty strange cry that makes it sound as though it's not what's going on. Um, this thing is definitely resistant to special attacks, so we should use the physical attack of sure. Uh, and the answer is Romania. I don't think Romania is going to see much hot gym action going on. So, whoa, the game didn't know what it was doing there. So I think we're fine. Unless this thing knows Ice Beam or something ridiculous. The game is deciding not to cooperate today. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, we'll pluck instead. Okay. <laughs> we may have some problems here. Well, if anything freaks out, you guys will be the first to know. Well, actually, I'll be the first to know. Because you guys won't actually see this till Saturday. Uh, fly. Oh, game. What is going on? <laughs> I may have to reset this or something. I don't know what is happening here. Fly, fools. I can't believe I haven't said that yet. That's ridiculous. I should have said that at least ten times by now. Okay, so that thing couldn't have known counter, I guess. So I really need to be careful. But I don't know what else I would have done in that situation. Anchors away! You have no boat, sir. You've got what it takes to be a trainer among trainers. Well, that's just saying that I could just be like everyone else. It doesn't it? All right, let's switch Pokemon. Uh, Myanmar, you up in front. Portugal, if only these things weren't water, then we'd be all right, but sadly that is not the case. Does this go anywhere? It does! An item! A rare candy! People just like leaving sweets around. And I also can't believe I haven't made the, ooh, piece of candy reference. Okay, so as long as everyone's level 40 before going in the gym, I think we'll be fine. Uh, it may be that I even have to skip some tr gym trainers, but it seems like there's just this guy. Maybe one other, so we'll leave with Portugal. Uh, and I don't think I can catch anything here because I, I have Greece. I have Greece now. Hello there. Let it rock! It's the rhythm of battle! No, it isn't. Why are people just making up forging claims? Guitarist Tony. Hey, Tony! Right, Portugal. Uh, we will... Flame Wheel? I think that's kind of a no-brainer. Hopefully this thing doesn't have anything ridiculous. Well, if it did, it is no more. And that was the best cry in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and a Magnemite. Oh, that was an awesome seal! Oh man, I need that, for sure. I think you can't get a lot of seals until Sunny Shore City, which makes me sad. My game is also struggling to cope with what's going on at the moment. I might need to check out Delio. Portugal, 39. It's so close to evolving. Can you hear my guitar weeping tonight? Remix. I'm too torn up to sing anymore. I'm so cool that way. No, dude. If you say you're cool, you're automatically not cool. That's like one of the first rules of coolness. Come on now. Anyway, let's pick some berries. Just destroying the environment as is tradition. Just shoving him in my bag. These must crush really badly. Ooh, I have another f sort of funny story, I guess. But back in uh, primary school, 
you used to be able, or my school, you used to be able to keep a piece of fruit in your tray, um, like where you put all your paper uh, as a snack, and I would keep forgetting to pick mine out, and then it got so smushed into my work, and half of my work from one year just became half banana. <laughs> oh dear, hello! This guy seems important. Nefeshu. Long time no see! Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. You know, if you say that again, that that's your catchphrase, isn't it? The professor asked how to upgrade your Pokedex, you see? So I'd chosen this spot on a hunch that you'd pass through. How long have you been standing here, one wonders? Nefashu, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, what's I supposed to put in the software here? Go chunk, go chunk. Um, um. Oh done! I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? You know, I, I didn't really get a say in this. You can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the Professor. May I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? Because, you know, grown adults can't possibly do that. The Professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilee City. It's probably nothing, though. No. You'll be fine. Hey, security guard. Boy, I sure am thirsty. Well, I have milk, and that's about it. Ah, oh, yeah, Canalave City. It's so beautiful, man. Now, I am no fool this time. I know Barry is here soon, and he fights you. Um, but before we continue, uh, obviously my game is freaking out, so I'm just gonna give it a little quick, of, a quick of a check to see if everything is running well, and I'll be right back. Ah oh, yeah. So I think everything's okay now, or at least it was when I was battling random wild Pokemon. So, as I said, Barry is up ahead, and he he is dangerous this time. Now, before he caught me off guard, but I managed it. However, this time, I'm pretty sure he's evolved all his Pokemon, uh, which is not good, and he has five of them, from what I remember. I think I remember his team, although I couldn't tell you what level they are. Uh, so this could actually be very, very grueling. So... Uh, he leaves a star raptor, as far as I know. Obviously, Brunei will not be intimidated by such things, uh, except for Jarable, but you know. Uh, so, we're gonna lead with Brunei, and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, but before we do that, let's explore some of these houses, including this guy. What's up, man? Your clothes look damp. Yeah, it's been a hot day, you know. And I kind of haven't changed them this whole adventure. Maybe you took the boat to Iron Island to get a hidden machine, right? Uh, hint, hint. Oh, almost clones, but not quite. Somewhere far beyond the vast sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. Really? I thought it was just us in this world. Hello, trainer. This is something I found. It was mixed in with a load of cargo from another country. That seems mighty suspicious, but okay. Ooh, what could this be? Skills swap? You know how Pokemon have their own abilities? Well, the move skill- How do I remember that? The move skill swap exchanges the user's ability with that of its target Pokemon. How you use skill swap is a measure of your expertise as a trainer. You know, why can't I remember, like, the Pythagoras theory? Why do I remember that skill swap is TM48? <laughs> it's really frustrating. Hey, Pokemon. Let's see if you have cool items. You probably just have male one balls. Yeah, that is correct. You look like Lily. A Pokeball that makes it easy to catch the same kinds of Pokemon. Well, that's the repeat ball. It's in the name. It's kind of obvious. I should take a revive out to everyone training on Iron Iron. I'm sure they'd appreciate it, but unless it's a Nuzclock. In which Nuzclock? Nuzlocke. In which case, they're already dead. It could be rough out there, especially since there's no Pokemon Center. Well, I assume there's one here, right? I think I... Did I heal? I can't remember if I even sustained damage. There are numerous houses, though. Or well, heist. It's plural of house now. Um, who did you say I was again? Ooh, your name... Your name is Frederick! You were once a brave warrior, fighting in the great Sinohoen battle of 1922. Oh yes, I remember now. I'm the move deleter. You've come to make me force your Pokemon to forget to move. That sounds pretty cruel. However, I'll probably need that later on, like super later on, when I get Waterfall. Uh, ooh, suddenly it's slightly darker. We're gonna do that for, um... Myanmar. Assuming, of course, we still have Myanmar. Welcome to Canalave City, the Canal City. In the old days, this port used to be a hub of cargo transportation. Cool. You, you added a lot to my journey. This woman is doing something with her Psyduck. My Psyduck is very close to me. That makes it return move powerful. Why would you teach me return? I think this. 
is something you can no longer get in. I think that leads to the Dark Rai event? I may be wrong. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just putting off fighting Barry right now. Ruth, we'll we'll Ruth, speak to you. It's easy to get on Highland. It's one boat trip from here. It doesn't even cost you money for some reason. But don't know how they make profit, but hey ho, I guess it's much like this Pokemon Center in that regard. Alright, so we'll talk to these three guys, and I suppose we have not much choice. I'm pretty sure once you cross that bridge, it's Barret time. I was lucky enough to get a strength HM for my iron I will ask not so special, is it? But I can use it for moving boulders and toy be Byron, the gym leader. I should make a note of that on the Poketch app memo pad. I don't think you'll be able to fit that in. I heard this cool rumor. There's a truck, you see, and if you look under it, you'll find rare candies. If you could get on a Nin well, I can't get on a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, so no, this is pointless. It's possible for one kind of Pokemon to have different abilities. That's news to me, although I look like I should have known that by this point. It's the glasses. Right, okay, I think we just have to do this. This could be really rough, but we will see. What we got, Barry? Whoops! Hey, Nefashu! You're gonna challenge the gym leader past here, eh? Yeah, could you kindly just let me do that in peace? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge! Okay, well, I mean, my viewers can certainly ch- That someone is me! With my brand new gym badge! Here we go. It looks like the good news is that I'm higher level than a lot of his Pokemon. However, he probably has some interesting moves, so we'll lead with Confuse Ray. Oh, that is not what I wanted to see at all. Uh, Brunei, I suggest you hit with Con Okay, right. New plan, we go with Extra Sensory. Because this could be extremely dangerous. Um, I don't have any moves that- oh, I have Faint Attack, that's true. However, Brunei, beasting for that double team. Let's see how much this does. And that is- oh, so close. Um, well, we'll just use it again, I guess. Okay, you, you, you take down, sir, you take down. You almost killed yourself. Um, use Gyro Ball, because we haven't used it yet. This thing just wants to learn take down. I guess these guys can't learn close combat. Yeah, oh my goodness. Okay, well, you, you're now a deceased bird. I'm sure you'll get another Staraptor soon in the future. That's the way these games work. Yep, I thought you might have this guy. What do I even use here? The, the, the simplest thing, I guess, is going to use a fire attack. But Portugal, you're not going to be able to take many hits. So, it's going to have to be Myanmar. Because Brunei, I don't know what your heatproof can do, so Myanmar it is. We'll see what this thing can do. Brick break. This could be bad. No, that's actually fine. Uh, surf. Okay, I can take brick breaks. That is fine. Even a crit for now is fine. Surf it up. I'm gonna douse your cool hairstyle. Oh man. Well, you need healing, Myanmar, that much I know. Um, so, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Have some milk, Myanmar. I'm hoping this thing doesn't have grass knot for some unknown reason. No, just wants to keep breaking bricks. Okay, Myanmar, you can deal one more surf, I'm sure. Come on, Myanmar. Okay, we're good. Surf it up. Oh, right, that is the biggest threat down. I'm happy with that. Whew! Well, you, that's by no means over, because there's a couple of pretty bad dudes coming up. Yeah, Myanmar. You're also level 40, and you want to learn Rain Dance. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're good. This is not the time for ritualistic dancing. Okay, well, Rosa Raid was to be expected. Um, so we're going to go with Portugal. 
I imagine you're faster, Portugal, but we'll see. This thing just wants to kick a dream. I mean, maybe Romania was the better option here. Well, that did a lot for something that wasn't supposed to be very effective. Um, I've changed my mind. We're going to use Romania. That poison resist could be the difference. Oh, I kind of expected that, which isn't the greatest thing ever. Um, however, pluck. And down goes Rosary. We're doing well, guys. We're doing we're doing the business so far. A floatsel. Now, what this thing can know, I don't know. Um, I think switching out could just be perilous, so maybe we should confuse. I'm pretty sure I can take Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet all day long. Well, not all day. <laughs> Preferably not, anyway, because that wouldn't bode too well. Our Romania, and pluck this thing. Nope, it wants to keep Aqua Jetting. Pluck it down. That's okay. One more time. I'd quite like you to hit yourself now. Yeah, Romania. Beast mode once again. All right, Romania. And I think this last guy has to be up to you because it is a Heracross. I level thirty-seven. We've gone out of tire spots in this plenty of times before. Entire team wipes. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Now. It makes sense to just go for it. I just have to hope that I knock it out in one hit. Otherwise, it could be bad. But nothing else can really do much without taking a big hit in return. So, Romania, pluck. And down goes Heracross. We did it. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Good job, Romania. We can now not use you until the next gym battle. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? This seems scripted, like it's happened before. Yeah, yeah. You're just a bit better than me, as usual. But listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. Shaft! You guessed right. It's going to be me. Close enough. Anyway. You should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Yeah, train on Iron Island. That's, that's what I did before going to the gym, and it clearly did me a heck of a lot of good. See ya. That went a lot better than I expected, I will not lie. Um, but what am I going to do? I think the only thing that... Oh, yes, let's open our Pokedex for some reason. The only Pokemon that I have is not level 40. is the one I want to be level 40, Portugal, because that means that Portugal, you will become a beautiful Rapidash. I'm pretty sure it's 40. It might not be. It might be 42 or something, but it's not far. Oh man, that went so well, that battle. I'm very happy. And it's probably just because I was actually decently leveled. I suppose the last time where I had no idea what was going on. Oh right, so... We have a library here. I feel as though we should, you know... We should help the, the publicly funded places. Hello. This is the Canalave Library. Please keep quiet while you're off the premises. Oh, fine. Okay, guys, I've got to talk like this now, I guess. What is it? Please don't disturb me when I'm reading. You know, most people sit down when they read, but, you know, to each their own. Who else we got? A small child. Hello? The books on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. But I'm gonna tough it out, man. I'm gonna show Jess that I can read at a great free level. Please refrain from bringing food or beverages into the library. Okay, guys, we can't tell him that we have stashes and stashes of milk here. Why is there a TV in the library? Someone's always checked out the book I want to read. It is a how to be a jerk with a blue hat. Yeah, take that. On this floor, you'll find many books on the myths and legends of the Sinnoh region. Yeah, anybody got time for that? Every book contains someone's memories of various places and times. Libraries aren't just buildings where books are kept, you know. Could have fooled me. There were different places and times are gathered together. It breaks the space-time continuum, you see. Cool. Well, we will definitely be back here. Because the plot says that we have to. Right, let's get out of here. There's not too much left to explore. 
It is good. Hello. I'm going to study at the library. Then why aren't you there? I've taken an interest in the subject of time and space. Well, that's relevant considering this game. The gym leaders and trainers of this gym often go out to Iron Island. They're not only trainer Pokemon, but they work out as well. Let's bust in this person's house. Ooh, there's a reporter. Oh, okay then. Hello, I'm of Jubilife TV. What kind of success rate do you have just standing in a house? May I hit you up for a quick interview? Sure, it's been a while. Please select your favourite Pokemon type from this list. Well, this is clearly grass. Thank you for sharing your photos. We'll be featuring this interview. I said one word. Man, the standards of interviews are really low lately. What is this? Sailor Eldritch's house. And this is the Canalave Dock. Alright, who is Eldritch? He's important enough to get his own sign. I'm going to be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man amongst men. Why is that? I've heard a similar phrase. Even the sea doesn't scare him. Oh, but the gym leader would be cool too. Byron is so awesome, man. Oh, boys, too much energy. That's the best way to be. Okay, well, if he gets lost, then I'm sure you won't be pulling that same excuse out. Is the gym leader in? I think he's in, but... I thought you had to go to Iron Island. Anyway, let's see what's guys. Do you want to set sail? Yeah, sure. I'll just hop on your boat, random man. Not quite got the same ring to it, I won't lie. Alright, I know. Now, this place has a bunch of trainers and stuff going on, but I'm definitely too high of a level for that. Ooh, no one here, blur. Can I just fight the gym then? Ooh, hello there. You are. Okay, you're in a fashion. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. Anyway, it's always nice to meet another trainer. Here's a gift. Wow, okay. It's that simple. You can just hand them out like, like rare candies, in fact. That hidden machine, which contains the new strength. To use it out of battle, you need the mind match from Canalave Gym. I'll be training inside. You can join me if you like. Oh, I'll have to wait for another time. I literally don't know how I can fit that in. Hang on. Ah, I knew it! Star piece. Yeah, I don't know how I can fit that in, because I definitely... I definitely have to, um... I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway, yeah, so I'm so close to the level limit, and I think the next one is 44, which isn't that much higher, and there's stuff to do before then, so I don't know when I can fit Iron Island in this whole thing. Anyway, I want to take on the gym next time. Uh, but I guess before we do that, there's one thing I want to do, and that is I want to evolve Portugal. Or at least get Portugal to level 40, because I think you evolve then. So, I'm going to do a little bit of training, and I'll see you guys once I'm done. Oh yeah, it's finally happening. You know, Portugal, there was a time in this Nuzlocke where I did not like Ponyta. That has now completely changed. And now, you're a beautiful Rabidash. Probably still want to touch this thing, but you know, <laughs> even so. Oh, I'm so happy. Finally, I don't know why it took you so long and your reward is Fury Attack. <laughs> Well, that's underwhelming. Let's not learn that. Oh, man. Good times. Let's check you out now. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, majestic beast. Your speed is crazy. Hang on, is that the fastest we have? Oh, no. Well, Romania's still faster, but... That's... Our second best attack is Portugal. That's pretty good. You know, guys, we've been through a lot. I'm very happy with the team I've assembled here. And now everyone's fully evolved. I feel like we can take on anything, you know, and for a combination of of luck, milk, and and really good sort of sort of good synchronization. You've all sort of played off each other really well. I think I've got a really good set of types going on here. Um, and I want to make the most of this because you never know, it might not always be this way. But let's hope that this continues. And on that weirdly sombre note for me, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you 
in the next episode. Hopefully my voice doesn't break like that next time. <laughs> Toodles!